All right, people, Catfish Dave here. It's mid-morning, because I was too lazy to get up early. Uh, it's Sunday morning. Saturday, I pulled this boat all over the place, and I never fished. It was windy, it was cold, it had been nice the previous week before, and I'm like, nah, I ain't dealing with this today. So what I did do is I caught some bait. I caught a cooler full of fresh skipjack. I caught some live bait. The main purpose of this trip is my live baits. I'll be honest with you, on that death finder, I passed some big blue cat coming up here, but I got a hankering for a flathead. So, you know, I can get them blue cat anytime. Seems like early spring, mid to late morning is a good time to get flatheads. And I'm pulled up basically on a big log jam to my right here. This is real nasty. I'm real close to 20 feet of water, but then it gets into real shallow depths over here. I got my motor in wood several times, pulling in through here. It's a real good place to get hung up, but it seems to me like a good home for some flatheads. That's what I got a hankering for. I may throw a cut bait out, I don't know. I may, I may throw more of a flathead style cut bait out, more of a, a strip that flutters in the current out that way. But I know I'm flowing my, my live bait rigs because that's what I'm in the mood for. So let's get some baits out and see what happens here. Here comes a boat to give me a bunch of waves. I may go ahead and throw another anchor because these boats are going to keep spinning me around. Ain't nothing I hate worse than a dag blasted bass tournament and you're trying to be anchored all nice and quiet.
Good thing I had these Vienna sausages on the boat. I'm getting hungry. Everything's quiet so far. One little old blue cat on a cut bait. I passed some big blue cat on that fish finder, but I wanted to find something to look flathead territory. I'll fish for them later. That old shad's causing me a lot of issues this morning. I keep trying to distance him from that bluegill. He keeps swimming back towards the boat. I had him way down river, now here he comes again. I'm gonna put on a bait that's a little more exciting. Right there. Every once in a while you see these odd looking fish. Got the uh, deformity on the tail. I have no idea what that is. He ate a skipjack head anyhow. The flatheads are not chewing this morning. Not yet, anyhow.
That's a big old fish right there. picture of this bad boy. I guarantee you that fish is about 70 pounds right there. Woo! Alright people, I got a picture. He bit my hand pretty good. Fish got a strong jaw. I'm going to go ahead and uh, Hold him in the water for a while, make sure he's good and strong, ready to go. I don't have my scale, I'm gonna call it a 70. All right, people, that's good enough for me. No flatheads on the board, but that big old blue made it worth it to me. Probably the fourth time I've been out on this boat, I'll take it. When I was coming up through here, I marked a couple sections of good blue cat not too far from here, and one giant blue cat probably down about 100 yards from here. And I'm so hard-headed, I passed all those up to throw for these flatheads because I went through the trouble of catching the bait. Either way, looks like I just can't get away from them old blue cats. I was going to catch them anyway. I'm glad I did. Biggest fish in the boat. I'll take it. I always throw that something extra out the side because it's like I've always said, you never know until you throw. And this time, that rod really paid off. No flatheads today, but it's okay. Thank you, Mr. Blue Cat. Thanks to all the fans, thanks to all the haters. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.